we know what the the series is. We know what the you know the records are. I mean, that says something that's made plain, and everyone knows about it. But um, you know, this year's approach for this team is is an approach to get them ready to play. Um, you know, a, a rival team that has done well in the last last several years, and uh, to play uh, play on the road in a venue that's been been known to you know to have uh, you know loud crowd and and crowd that gets into the game. So um, you know the fact that it's it is our in-state um, rival um, means a lot, particularly for some of the in-state players that we have. You know that we that are on our team. They, they know a lot about each other. They you know, it's much been made about the high school rivalries and all those other things. So, um, you know, for us, it's for us, it's the uh, it's uh, the last opportunity for our fourth and fifth year seniors to to have an experience to go out on a winning note, um, and and that's that's the main focus. I think it, it requires you revert back, rely back on even your parenting skills, your coaching skills, your. You know, you know anything you've ever done, and to try to convince someone that they can do, you know, um, what they set their mind to. I think the atmosphere has to be positive. It has to be one that uh, you believe it, and you have to, you know, uh, convey that type of feeling, you know, uh, to the players, and they have to feel that, you know, you're genuinely trying to trying to express those, you know, those type of feelings. And and so, um, you know, this whole season, this whole opportunity is to to try to create an atmosphere of being positive, despite the negative things that happen is something that uh, I will continue to try to keep doing. Um, you know, you want, you know, you want players to believe in themselves, and you want to make sure that they believe that you believe in them. Because if not, then uh, you'll have no chance. And so, um, just continue to keep trying to promote an atmosphere of, of being positive despite what the record says. But uh, you know, in a game like this, um, you know, the opportunities that are presented, the last game, the rivalry game, and all those things that you've just mentioned. You know, here today, I mean, all those things come into play. Um, a lot of these players, they know each other. I mean, they went to school with each other. They played against each other. And, um, you know, and obviously there's recruiting implications. There's so many other different things that are involved with this that that um, that don't need, you know, someone to, to stoke up. You know, it's just one of those things that this is a big game for us. And obviously it's a big game for them because it has bowl game implications for them. I th think what you see is you see a very uh, – aggressive approach to their style defensively. There's a lot of man coverage. There's a lot of blitzes. And not just, I mean, they, they blitzed against Florida State. They blitzed against Miami. They, you know, they, that's, looks like it's kind of the MO about being very, very aggressive. And um, they've made a lot of plays, you know, because of that style. And, and, and sometimes it's, you know, it's hurt them. But, um, but you do see a, a very aggressive, man-to-man uh, -man style, we're going to put pressure on you, uh, you have to block us, um, you know, type of approach. And, uh, but that's something that's been very evident, you know, as you watch, watch tape and, and look at the season on them. You know, Virginia Tech, you look at Logan Thomas as being a, you know, to us, he's an outstanding player. Um, you know, he's a guy that, uh, that can handle the ball with his, you know, with his arm. Um, obviously, he does a tremendous job with his legs. I mean, because you, you just can't uh, count him out as far as being a runner or a guy that can threaten you with his arm. Um, you know, six foot six or whatever he is, I mean, it, you know, there's no doubt sometimes of the situations that he'll get the ball, put the ball in his hands, and, and it's, he's proved time after time that um, he's been successful in a lot of those situations. So um, he runs the offense. You know, they've, they've got uh, um, J.C. Coleman, you know, they got – Davis, they got all the all the all the, the tools, you know, for their uh, you know for their offensive approach. But what what impresses you is when you look at Logan and his size and his athleticism. Is you see that uh, he's a very very talented player and uh, and and definitely one that uh, you know we as well as other teams you're going to have to play well against. I, I don't I don't think so. I mean you know again it the the game in of itself. Is, is talked about and reported on and everybody knows about is has an importance particularly to the, the guys that are playing in it you know the players and the coaches um, but you know it seems like there are there is for the second year in a row there is a significance to playing the game and last year as you noted you know it was it was for the chance to to, to represent you know their side and this year um, if they win, they're bowl eligible. If, if not, then, then then they're not, and we end a streak. So, 
again, it has, does have another, another significance to it.